Greetings, Aya. All praise in King Selassie, Ja Ras Defari, Babylonian weaponry. Perhaps Babylon's greatest weapon is time. This isn't just sitting in a jail cell. This is something that is used against common people everywhere, every day. If you're in need of a service, let's say someone hacks into your YouTube account, you have to call for assistance. How easy is it to reach an operator? See, the next generations don't quite see the problem because they're brought into this existence and have no knowledge of previous experiences or how things used to be. Um, and so when somebody is made to wait, they are consuming their lifetime. And you know, companies and businesses are most of the motivation of people today. If I stop people driving down the street and ask them where are they going, most likely they're trying to make money. They're involved in some kind of a business somehow whether it be themselves or working for some. So, when people are made to make money to survive, as the expression goes, time is money. Some may say money is time. Either way, it time is something that is of value to everyone. And how these Babylon institutions operate is they force the burden of time upon the poor. The system of Babylon is structured around class. If you are someone that would rather receive good information than bad, you must pay for that. Because if you just do a search, like the Babylon told us, just Google it, you're going to get a lot of bad information, something that will waste your time. The Babylon man has the network, the council, so that the information is coming through his advisors who are screening that information and making sure his information is valid. Therefore, he wastes no time in receiving information. Once someone has information, they know where to go. Let's say if they have a problem in need of a solution. They're not wasting their time trying to figure out what to do. When the Babylon taps everyone's communications around the world, this is allowing them to make the best decisions because they're already aware of what it is people are thinking. If I were to start a business, it could be any business. 
maybe I will go and find out how many businesses are in the area. Maybe I'll look to move to a location where there are a few of those businesses, but a high demand of those businesses. The Babylon man has us all this information already at his fingertips, whereas we have to go out and search for it. So time is a weapon. Because when the Babylon looks at your number and determines that you're an adversary, his objective becomes to waste your time. This has a psychological impact as well. Often can make people go insane if the Babylon is constantly building stresses. You know, if we have to survive and we're caught up dealing with one problem after another, it makes survival more difficult. So it is a type of genocidal extermination of common people from the, the higher classes in our societies. If there were an order, a rule of law that worked for the interest of all, this would actually encourage those that are disadvantaged to build wealth, security really, and instead of making it easier for those that have already been advantaged and not just by a little bit, it would lighten the burden of those that are disadvantaged. This is a true religious order. Some shun the word religion because of the organized, corrupted trees that exist. And yet, this word signifies there is a foundation, something that is sacred, that does not move. And that is the religious law. And this law enables all of humankind to prosper, as opposed to man's law that only allows for the same few to prosper. Man's law is said to bring civilization. And yet, what is it that conscious people see? If this is the idea of civilization, then I suppose we need less civilization. So what the I and I seek to do is bring our righteous law to mankind and woman and child to alleviate those burdens survival and to fulfill the will of Creator. I weigh Master Redeemer.